Happening today, it's about to feel like Christmas for a lot of kids. WCPO 9 News reporter Allie Kramer joins us live from TQL Stadium with the scoop on a toy giveaway. Good morning, Allie. Hey guys, I mean, there's nothing better than a free toy, right? And that's exactly what's going to be happening down here outside TQL Stadium today, actually this afternoon. Uh, you know, I kind of picked out one of my favorite toys, good old shoots and ladders. I think about how many board games you have at home. We have a whole closet full. But think about being a kid and not having a single one. That's why this is so important. And so uh, today is just one of eight distributions throughout the Tri-State that is happening this summer. And it's really a, a great way to provide something for a kid so that they can kind of unplug from everything. That is the idea. Now, 16,000 total toys are going to kids who just want to be kids this summer. The most recent one you're seeing here was at Elder High School. It was a huge success. The initiative is called Unplug and Play. It's a partnership with One Source, Toys for Tots, and about 14 other corporations and nonprofits. It's been a difficult year for kids, so this is really a way for them to step back from the technology and get back to just being kids. Organizers say it's also an opportunity to show kids the importance of volunteering and giving back. This is very important to me from a community service standpoint. It's also very important to me uh, to have my kids involved and their friends involved to take this in at an early age and really uh, know how to give back and why it's important. And it, it's, you know, it's something about yourself and feeling that, but it's also about the smile and all the, uh, the faces and kids get to go home and play with toys and enjoy life. Uh, you know, I want you to know that outside TQL Stadium here in the West End, the toy distribution today goes from 3.30 until 6. Any and all kids are welcome. You can stop by and just pick up a toy for them. They can pick it out. And then, uh, you know, everyone again is welcome. But the, cool, the toys are kind of geared to the younger kids, 10 and under. But if you're not able to make it out here to the stadium today, there are two more opportunities. I want to tell you, June 30th at Mount Carmel Christian Church that's over there on the east side, and then July 29th at South Avondale Elementary. Both of those are now shared on WCPO.com so that you can uh, make some plans for those visits as well. For now, reporting live, Allie Kramer, WCPO 9 I, News. I don't know, Allie. I saw a big stack of Clue games, and those look like they're good for adults, too. <laughs> We love to play these with Yeah, our kids. I think about all of that. And oh, I know. And it's just like such a great way to stop playing on your phones and the TVs and things like that and like yeah. just do things that we used to do as Be kids. Beautiful <laughs> gift for the whole family unit. Thanks, Allie. Appreciate it.